I uh, I got so frustrated by the lack of action by the local police or, or authorities. I've spoken to them plenty of times. So I set about creating a government petition on the subject of bike lights, uh, something which is uh, I find very frustrating indeed. Um, the petition is called, it's got a very st strange name, Petition 654-147. Nice and easy to remember, 654-147, which is um, a petition which says that the authorities must require bikes to be fitted with suitable lights in full working order at all times. Uh, basically, the theory behind that is, oh, of course, I'm not looking for them to be uh, using the lights necessarily during daytime. But if they're not in full working order during the daytime, they're hardly likely to be ready and well, uh, able to be used at nighttime. Uh, or, or when, for instance, um, light conditions are, are poor, or, you know, which happens at times, you know, fog and et cetera, et cetera. So, the, the key to this is it is all about bike safety, not only for the cyclists, but also for other road users and pedestrians. Uh, I was nearly knocked over outside my shop by uh, a guy who had, um, he was cycling a black bike, wearing dark clothing, um, uh, not a single light whatsoever on his bike. But he obviously had uh, uh, some sort of rented brain cell because he'd fashioned a, a, a bracket to hold his iPhone so he could watch YouTube clips whilst he cycled along. But he, he was cycling on the pavement. Also, uh, I have been filming out in East Road on a regular basis uh, associated to the lane restrictions that are going on in East Road. I keep on getting distracted by um, the misbehaving cyclists, uh, a lot of the Deliveroo and Just Eat people who seem to like cycling on the pavement without any form of lights, et cetera, et cetera. So um, I, 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 I decided that I was going to try and do something about it. I've spoken to the police. Uh, I, I had a, an email recently from the superintendent of, for South Cams who basically said, Yes, we would like to do um, more. Uh, in fact, I've got his email lined up here. He said, uh, I'm afraid we can't enforce it as often as we would like uh, or would be able. Uh, if an officer stops to issue a ticket with no lights en route to a sexual assault, burglary or domestic incident, I think you'd think we have our priorities wrong. Well, we're not suggesting that. I'm just thinking it needs to be enforced. There's no point in having a law which says your bike should have lights uh, at, um, uh, at night time with, um, without any form of enforcement. And I, um, I conducted my own little, I thought, well, let's get some data together. So what I did was I, I counted on my six mile commute home uh, every night for a week, I counted the number of bikes I saw with and without lights. I just made a mental note of it as I was driving along. And I popped the details into a, a spreadsheet. And at the end of the week, I calculated that 40% of the cyclists I'd witnessed cycling on the road or pavement or whatever, uh, on my drive, drive home from Cambridge to Cottenham, 40% of the cyclists were without any form of illumination. You know, um, in, in a place that's well lit, like East Road or, 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 or going along Newmarket Road, you know, it's okay, they can get away with it. But there's an awful lot of places now they're cutting down on street lighting. Uh, if you go up somewhere like Gilbert Road, which seems like a bit of a hot spot for it, because I, I, I saw at least, at this about a mile long Gilbert Road, and I saw on one night, I saw 12 cyclists without lights whatsoever. Um, you know, it, it, it's just ridiculous. I, it, I thought, well, let's, let's put some data behind it. And, um, you know, we, we'll, we'll see if we can't get a bit of interest. I, my my, my uh, petition has been running for only a matter of days. 
Uh, and there's a couple of hundred people signed up to it so far. Um, but I need to get a little bit more uh, traction behind that. People should sign up to. So if you Google petition 654, nice and easy, 654, 147, which is the top score of a snooker game. 654-147. Nice and easy to remember. Uh, and basically, uh, if I can get enough people interested, uh, the government say they'll give us an answer as to what they propose to do. Um, you know, back back in the uh, the days, back in the 1960s and 70s, I, I've had people say to me, well, Back then, I even had people, you know, the police stop me and check my brakes. And one person said he finished up in court because his brakes, they worked, but they didn't work well enough. So the policeman, uh, back then, the priorities seemed to have changed. I, I, I dare say it's all going down to budgets and, uh, and the amount of people they've got available. But really, um, it is so frustrating. I, I had what was what could be termed an amusing incident filming in East Road. Uh, there was a young lady cycled past me. She had no lights whatsoever on her bike. She was wearing dark clothing. She had no hands on her handlebars, and she was on her mobile phone. So I, I said, oh, good, extra points, you're on your mobile phone. And I carried on filming. Um, about the lane restrictions. Anyway, about 30 seconds later, she came back to me and she complained that, why was I filming her? I said, well, I, I wasn't. You happened to cycle across my film shop. And um, uh, then she started debating with me what I'd said. She said, well, what's it to do with you? I was on my mobile phone. And, and she said, by the way, I'm not the only person without lights as if that was some sort of justification. Well, quite frankly, that is the sort of complacency that has come about as a result of the law not being imposed. And what's the point of having a law if you're not going to actually impose it? It might just well not be in existence.